up this simple maze in Tinker and the object of my game is for the green ball to navigate its way without me controlling it through the maze. So I set up simple code here and if I click on start nothing appears to happen. That's because all I've done here is I've asked the ball to move by one pixel to the left. So obviously, obviously I'd have to keep pressing play. So to make that happen continually, we need to use a new block and it's in the control block. And we need to use the forever block. So what we're saying now is by putting the change X by minus one pixels forever, it will move forever to the left. So let's have a look at this now. That's all well and good. That's what worked very well, but we actually want it to obey the rules of the maze. So we need to change our code. So changing by saying forever, change X by minus one, it did what we wanted it to do, but we expect it to do something when it hits the walls of the maze in the same way that if we ran into a wall rather than walk through a door, um, we wouldn't get to the next room and end up with a bruise. So we need to actually computationally think about this problem and think of a statement that we want to arrive at to make sure this happens. Okay, so having shown that just constantly moving to the left by using minus um, what, um, x um, as a command, we can see we just go straight to the walls. What we have to do now is change our block. So we've gone from the forever, so the ever forever is not going to help us here. So we've had to insert a conditional. And the conditional is this again, again in this control set block here, we've got if We've got an if condition and this hexagonal block here, which is comes under the sensing block is, and there's a whole bunch down here, but we're gonna just use touching a particular color in this case. So we fit this inside to build our block up. And what we're saying here now is if touching color, so I'm just gonna click on the F, uh, uh, <coughs> the color block here, and you can either go out and just choose a color in your um, background um, or choose the color black. So now we've said, if you look at this, it says, if touching color, uh, change X by two pixels. So that's the, that's the blocker code there that we've, we're going to add in here to, to R forever. So I'm just gonna get rid of this here because you can see I've already made the block up here and I've tucked the other one under here. Let's come back to here. So now, rather than just saying forever change X by one pic by minus one pixel, we can add this condition in that says, however, if you happen to touch the color black, change X by two pixels. And what that basically means is go back in the opposite direction by two pixels. So let's have a look and see what happens. And that should hopefully now create a rule that says anything black is something you can't pass through. So click on play. Oops. Okay, so here we go. I'm doing this very slowly so you can see. So it's coming down the tube here, and here we go. It's going to touch the black, and it's going to bounce back and stop. So it looks like it's appeared, so the, the program is working. So now we need to look at that and think about how can we make this look like the green ball is going to navigate autonomously through the maze. Obviously, the choice now here is... Um, can, can I go left or right? So let's have a look at that.